Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm really sorry it's been a bit of a, a wait for the uh, since the last video. As you can probably imagine, I've had a big task ahead of me getting myself ready to move to London. But uh, today we are out for my first ever fallow buck with Dartmoor Deer Services. So really looking forward to that. And we will be heading out into Dartmoor with Tom, who runs Dartmoor Deer Services. He's a professional deer stalker. He does it full time. Uh, he operates over about 30,000 acres and he manages them for farmers, farming, agriculture, but also um, for a healthy deer population as well. Uh, he runs at a client basis. He will be looking for a particular group of bucks today, which has been damaging uh, a certain amount of ground. They've been really smashing the uh, the crop. The farmers actually t asked him to take them out because obviously farming and big deer don't go well. Anyway, so that's his um, that's his goal, and he will be doing that um, hopefully today with me. We'll go and check out the damage, and then we'll try and catch up with some of these bucks. Um, but stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy my first video back for a while. So while we were so walking up here, there's a bit of damage going on here in one of the game crops, is it? Yeah, it's got up here in the valley. Um, we've got a nice steep bank of wood here, and then the higher side is uh, the cover crop maize. Cool. Um, yeah, and the deer coming up from the bank, heading up over into the maize, actually. Mm -hmm eating the maze down to the damage, is, the damage is just starting as well so if you can yeah. catch it early then obviously yeah the sooner the better yeah the plan is you know if we can just get one from there um that should move them on kick them on. away from it yeah for at least for a few days anyway excellent yeah um we'll just keep an eye on it really and hope yeah. keep an eye on it let's do it yeah have a little look <laughs> so, um, yeah. not a fallow, but a roebuck, right beneath the, the yeah, edge area damage. Right above there, um, so that could be one of the culprits going in there. So, um, we came so. to do a job, and obviously we expected fallow, but what we yeah. found here was a roebuck. Um, and unfortunately, in an area where there's arable crops, deer aren't that welcome with farmers. So, yeah, I mean this is this right below. There's one of the main drives on the shoot. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, the gamekeepers really don't want the maze being eaten off by the uh, deer. So, um, good job done. Cool. Should we go yeah, and pull them we'll out? Get around there and retrieve it. We will really good good yeah. through, through here. Yeah, but it looks alright otherwise. The scars and whatnot, but yeah. Might just be recovering from the rut, maybe. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, the rut has just finished, so. But yeah. Ideal. Well, well done. done. Cool. So, let's get it back. Basically, what you look for in a three year old, you'd expect these to be going backwards, going forwards, going up. Six points is a typical roebuck. This animal just doesn't have any, any kind of that um, growth. It's just no real signs of tines. I mean, that's a sort of dent, that's a sort of dent, but then they'd be out here by now and they're just not. And you can see my face, my fist, my hand gets around his neck, um, which is just completely wrong. You should be at least two hands for a, for a healthy animal. So you can see he's really not in the best of shape. 
Um, and definitely a really good one to, to take out the population because these are not the sort of guys you want spreading their genes around. Not healthy animals. I found it thrashing around over there. Yeah, he ran to the left. I'm not sure if that was great, mate, I'll be honest. It was it good, it, it, he didn't react, which is can be good. He it stood felt, there. He felt like I pulled it a little. But we'll, we'll just leave it, we'll just stay here for a minute. Huh? Look fucking good. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well done again. Well, we're not celebrating yet, but <laughs> no, that was, was that good. was a long shot as well. Yeah, it was a good solid strike with noise. Yeah, yeah. definitely thumped. But I mean, yeah. almost, I just felt like it felt like it was a bit too much of a thump. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, the strike looked good through the barnos. You know, he he stood there. It was a solid strike, but we need to mark that point because that's where we're going to head first to so the shot so site. Straight out there. So the shot site's on the right. You saw we're based on a rock. Yeah. He went. He sort of come down at an angle to the left. He did, because I saw him jump across, yeah. and, he, and then I didn't see him again. No. So he, basically, I was obviously doing that certain that tree with the curls around to the right. Yeah. So that was where he sort of, if, if he was going to, in my mind, if he was going to go down, was where he would have gone down. Yeah, I heard, it sounded like he crashed down, I heard yeah. all the bracken hit, yeah. but, like, you know, rolling around in the bracken, so hopefully. I say we'll give it a minute, give it some time. Yeah, definitely a strike. Yeah. Just a question of where it is. Yeah. That's, that's the tree. Rock, rock. There's that bent tree, there's that bent tree. Yeah. That's the tree. It was to the right of that tree. Somewhere over here, wasn't it? Yeah. It's over. That's the tree. You don't think you can go straight down then? No. Sweet. Yeah. Come on. You're gonna be happy with this. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh man! What a beauty! <laughs> oh buddy! Thank but you so much, man. That's right, no worries. What no a worries. beauty! That's a nice animal. Huge, he's big as well, isn't he? Yeah, big body. There you go. Very much, <laughs> Your well, first time, uh, though.